Hi guys, I'm Tim, how you doing? Remember me, senior producer for Ultimate Band. And I hear a rumor that you guys wanna know what it's all about. Uh, it's actually a really cool game. It's on the Wii and the DS. You get to make your band, four characters, one, two, three, four, playing drums, bass, guitar, or the front man. And what you're doing is you go in and you go into our character creator and you get to play with all this weird kind of stuff and put different kinds of hair and hats and clothes and shoes and belts and everything else on your band. And then you actually take them into a story, and it's an actual story. It's your band in this story going from kind of your parents' garage to this rags and riches journey to become the ultimate band. And it's actually really cool and pretty funny. So once you start the game, they're going to have the ability to create a band, which is going to be four characters. And they can be boys or girls, and it doesn't matter. And there's a simple list of tops and bottoms and shoes and bracelets. You know, you can pick your crazy looking head or a normal looking head. Um, you can add makeup and facial hair. We're not really stuck to just being a normal game with a bunch of bands. We're, we're going to let you do whatever you want with these guys. Part of our, our thought in, in putting this game together was doing a, a really special attempt at the music, which is having both male and female singers. You know the day destroys the night, night divides the day. It's really cool because you get to build your band and pick the, f the singer that you want to have in your band and then if you build a female singer you get all the songs in a female voice and if you build a male singer you get all the songs in a male voice. It's really cool and we did a great job with capturing the feel of the songs and really making them sound like the original songs. So I've been working primarily on these fun little guys, Wiimote and the Nunchuck and um, how the user interacts with them. We kind of wanted to emulate the actual instruments that we're playing here. We've got drums and guitar and all sorts of things. And we actually want to make it feel like you're playing the drums or the guitar. And I don't know anything about music, but I know a lot about these. And, uh, and I'm going to strum with the Wiimote. So the idea is that we feel like we're really playing. So you don't have to be musically inclined to play this game. So we start every song off with a pose. And what it really does is it gets the crowd going, it gets your score boosted, and it really gets the show in the proper, exciting atmosphere. Um, so here we go. Uh, these are just some regular notes that he's hitting. Um, we've combined performance into these notes, like these clap notes. Every band member has a clap, and it actually helps kind of join the band together and help them get into the rhythm of the song. We also have incorporated something called Flourish, which is a trick system in the game. Right here, see there's a big empty spot in the song? He did a trick, guitarist goes crazy, crowd goes crazy, you get lots of points. So we also incorporate something called Grandstand. It's kind of like your band's super move. Um, see this? This is the Grandstand. It's a bunch of mini games that you have to do in a specific amount of time. You get tons of points. Your character also just goes crazy and starts doing off-the-wall animations, getting the crowd psyched up again. It's all about the crowd. It's all about the performance. As you can see, it's pretty off-the-wall. You come down with a huge point bonus. It's also pretty fun in multiplayer where all the players kind of juggle back and forth and hot potato between uh, different grandstand motions. It gets really hectic. The differences between the Wii and the DS version is that on the DS you can play the bass, lead, rhythm, or drums simply by tapping on the screen in rhythm to the different songs. You can also play this against your friends in a wireless mode or create songs together. We started working on a story and we really like the idea that your band, the band that you play in the story, are cool people, you know, and cool people do cool things. And one of the things that we thought would be, well, cool, uh, was to work uh, with a charity. Coolest thing that I can think of for Ultimate Band is that it's just really based on the Nintendo Wii platform. Uh, you don't have to go out and buy expensive peripherals and it's just really unique for the Nintendo uh, system. 